Donald Trump now is in the lead for the GOP primary, and yeah. the lead is growing. 54% of voters supporting Trump. And here is part three of my interview with the former president. This is the lightning round. Take a look. Fun, quick answers, and we'll wrap this up. Okay. What is Donald Trump? What are you most proud of? I think that, look, uh, if you would have told me I was going to become president, I looked at it, I thought about it, I never did anything, never even close. I was thinking about it with Romney. A poll came out when Romney was running that I blew him away in the Republican Party. But I, I couldn't do it because I had a long-term contract with The Apprentice, and I was building three buildings, and I wanted to finish the buildings, and they did good. So I just couldn't do it. But I started thinking about it uh, specifically then. I became president of the United States. Now I say, what did I do that was great? I rebuilt our military. I gave the largest tax cuts in history. I built the greatest economy in the history of the world. We had, just prior to COVID coming in, I had done things, the greatest in the history of the world, actually, and we were starting to get along with the other side. Radical left people were calling me for lunch. African Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans. Everybody had a job. Everybody. We were booming. Far more jobs than you have today. It, we were booming. And then COVID came in, and I had to do it a second time. And when I handed it over, the stock market, which practically crashed, as it should, but when I, when I took it over, when I had, had to hand it over, the stock market was higher than just prior to COVID coming in. Nobody can believe it. Mm -hmm. But what I did, I mean, so many different things, John. It's very hard to say specifically. Understood. For instance, one thing I did that I love, right to try. People were terminally ill. So many lives have been saved. Nobody ever talks about it. People were terminally ill. They were going to die. But we have a medicine or biotech. And they want to take a risk? Give them a shot. We can't give it to them because they may die. They're terminally ill. They're going to be dead in a month. Mm -hmm. It was very hard. They've been trying to get it for 54 years. I got it approved. So now if somebody's very sick, we're allowed to use some of our very far out things, which won't be approved for another three or four or five years by the FDA. All right, I'm going to You know how many lives I've saved with it? So, so I, we've done so much. But that's a big, that built, was a big deal. Well, I'll tell you what. I rebuilt our military, but I also mm -hmm. added Space Force. And Space Force, you know, I created a new branch of the United States military. Mm -hmm. That's a big thing. We did a lot of big things. All right. I'm going to give names and give me quick, short sentence of narratives, whatever comes to your mind. Putin. Well, I'm going to have to go a little short, but uh, I got along with him great. Uh, had I been president, he would have been much better off because he wouldn't have gone into Ukraine. But ultimately, he's going to take over all of Ukraine. Chi. Uh, a man I got along, again, I got along with him great until COVID came in. Uh, we would have been able to work together very well. I got, I made an unbelievable deal for our farmers and manufacturers where China was giving us $50 billion a year to our farmers and our manufacturers. Kim Jong-un. Uh, again, got along with him great. People mm. don't want to hear that. A lot of people say, that's terrible to get along with him great. When somebody has nuclear weapons that can blow up the world, it's nice to get along. I got along with him great. Mullahs of Iran. Uh, different story. Uh, there. Uh, religious zealots, and I think they might behave. You know, when you mention Kim Jong-un, he's not crazy. He's very smart. Uh, Do you think any people, of these people are evil? Like, I look at Putin, what he's doing in Ukraine is evil. Well, if I were there, he wouldn't have been doing it, so he would have been better off, and the world would have been better I look off. At, I look at China and the way they treat minorities there as, you know, modern-day you know, inflation was too. caused by energy. Yeah. When we turned off our energy, energy prices went up. It caused inflation, and that right. was a whole big thing. And Russia became rich. Yeah. Think of it. Russia became rich. Russia made a lot of money, more money than the cost of them prosecuting this war. Yeah. Think of it. Um, and we didn't have to do that. Schumer. I knew him a long time from New York. Always got along with him great until I became president. Uh, McConnell. Not good. Uh, a tremendous liability for the Republican Party and for the nation because he approved so much for Biden. It was almost as if uh, the Democrats had something on him. Tremendous liability for both the nation and for the Republican Party. Kanye, now that you know some of the things that he thinks and says. Well, you know, when I was with him, he didn't say that. And when he asked me to have dinner because he needed some help, right. I didn't say, well, what's the problem? 
So he, I didn't know anything about his attitude toward, I'm not reading about Kanye, I'm reading about President Xi, and I'm reading about Putin and Kim Jong-un. I'm not reading exactly about Kanye West. Right. But when he came here, uh, I think he, and I will say this, he didn't say anything about anti-Semitism or anything else. And if he would have done that, I would not have been a happy camper. Barack Obama. Don't know him well. Uh, don't deal with him at all. Haven't spoken to him since the very, very beginning. We did actually talk a little bit the first couple of weeks, but my views are so divergent than his. I mean, it's, it's just, I don't want to hear his ideas because we just disagreed. I respect him, I respect him, but his ideas are so different than mine, it's easier not to talk about him. Michelle Obama. I like her, I respect her. Uh, the First Lady respects her, but I can't tell you much about her. She, I don't think she likes politics. I don't think she wants to be involved. Some people say, oh, maybe she'll run. That'd be fine. But I don't think she likes politics, and I don't think she'll run. Jill Biden. I don't know her at all. Don't okay. know her at all. Seems like a nice woman. Joe Biden. Uh, I'm so disappointed what's happened to the country. I mean, the country, we were respected all over the world. Now we're a laughing stock. He goes to Canada the other day, you covered it, and he says, I want to thank China in the middle of the Canadian why, parliament. Why are you reluctant to say he looks like he's in a cognitive decline? Because I don't want to say that. I don't think it's appropriate for him. You can say it. Oh, I a do. A lot of people say it. I, that, I say know, it. I think as somebody that is in the position that I'm in, I think it's inappropriate for me to say it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.